Hello and welcome to this first of two Argos Multilingual webcasts about machine translation. In this webcast we'll introduce machine translation, explain the reason why more and more businesses are turning to machine translation to complement their translation process, and our approach to machine translation. We'll also outline how the quality of machine translation output is measured and controlled, and lastly take a look at where machine translation is today as we sum up the webcast. So let's begin by getting to know a little more about machine translation. By definition, machine translation is a form of computational linguistics and language engineering which uses software to translate text or speech from one language to another. The two most common engines are rule-based and statistical. These engines differ in the way that they process and analyze content, but are often combined within the same system and known as hybrid MT. Rule-based machine translation, or RBMT, engines use linguistic rules to break down the content. It produces more predictable output for terminology and grammar through the use of customized terminology lists to fine-tune the engine and the ability to correct every error with a targeted rule. Rule-based engines don't need a large and structured set of texts, also known as a bilingual corpus, to create the translation system. Statistical machine translation, also known as SMT, uses statistical models to generate the translation of the source content. Statistical engines don't analyze text based on language rules. Instead, the statistical model is built by analyzing bilingual corpus and requires an appropriate volume of bilingual content to do so. MT is evolving. Since about 2013, internet giants like Google and Microsoft began to explore the possibility of using neural networks. Neural networks are statistical learning models that were first used in speech and image recognition technology. Its application in machine translation enables MT engines to train themselves using a process which is similar to the way that the human brain works through trial and error. This process is called deep learning and comes from the principles which have been established through the implementation of big data analytics. While it's still early to assess the future impact and potential of this approach, it is already clear that it improves the translation in most cases, offering an output that looks more fluid and more human. Several language pairs on Google Translate and Microsoft Translator have already made the switch to NeuralMT. We've also seen an increased adoption from many of the professional machine translation systems such as Sistran and CantanMT. So, which engine is right for you? As each engine processes and generates data differently, the engine chosen for a project depends on the target languages and the availability of reference materials for the given source files. In most cases, machine translation is used in combination with translation memory matches. Segments of content which have not been leveraged by existing translation memories are targeted and processed through one of the engines. These segments include new or heavily modified content. The raw machine translation output generated is then post-edited by experienced linguists and is either accepted or modified before being inserted back into the translated document. This combined method produces the best results in terms of quality and time efficiency. Technical content such as user assistance content, customer support and user documentation is considered to be the most suitable type of content for machine translation. The suitability of content increases if the content has been optimized for machine translation. At Argos, we propose our clients to instill two quality at source steps in order to not only increase the quality of their source content, but also optimize it for machine translation. Machine translation, or MT, works best with content that's repetitive and simple, where the same words are being reused and synonyms are minimized. This step involves using controlled English guidelines when authoring the content. You can expect significantly higher productivity gains by controlling the source language through ensuring better structured sentences, which are shorter and less complex, and by creating glossary or terminology lists that are clearly defined before the translation process is initiated. Furthermore, by authoring in a content management system, you're able to save high quality translated content and reuse it for future projects. Having this system in place, you can reduce translation costs and increase consistency across projects. These quality at source steps result in better quality raw MT output and thus in turn, higher post-editing productivity. Are you looking for ways to achieve new efficiencies in your translation process or want a more cost-effective solution for your next translation project? Then machine translation may just be the answer. 
Remove bottlenecks from your translation process and increase overall efficiency by applying MT to your next translation project. By applying MT, you'll be able to reduce the translation costs and time to market, increase productivity, as well as improve terminology consistency. Machine translations can increase your productivity by translating greater volumes of content. On average, machine translations produce 8,000 translated words per day, including 8 hours of post-editor work, in comparison to 2,500 translated words with human translation. By translating more content and at quicker rates, machine translation also helps reduce your time to market, allowing you to translate more words per day and in turn deliver translated content to your customers faster. With MT, you can achieve greater savings with its lower rates in comparison to the rates of human translators. Costs can be further reduced by leveraging off translation memories and only translating new segments. In the long term, all your future projects from the same subject area will leverage off the savings achieved by applying machine translation. Another benefit of machine translation is its ability to increase consistency of terminology. This is especially important for larger projects as it's easier to control the terminology used. Large projects completed by human translators would require the use of multiple translators simultaneously. Translating the content or achieving the same tone and control of terminology is more challenging than when it's done with MT. This graph from Autodesk shows a real-life example of the productivity gains for various languages. As you can see, gains can reach as high as 130% for certain languages. Now we'll take a look at our approach. The Argos approach to machine translation is a three-step approach. These three steps help to ensure that MT is appropriate for you and for your content. Before throwing our clients headfirst into MT, we'll first determine whether the content is suitable at all for the mechanics of machine translation. Our process begins with a pilot project where we test the content and engine to determine two things. We determine the quality of the output generated by the engine and the amount of post-editing work needed. It's at this stage where we can determine the suitability of machine translation to the given content, set machine translation expectations for the entire project, as well as estimate the post-editing efficiency and the cost per word of producing translations of human translation quality. The process begins with creating the empty engine. For statistical engines, this involves processing huge volumes of bilingual data. For rule-based engines, this involves extracting and translating terminology and creating appropriate language rules and exceptions to those rules. Next, the source content is processed and raw machine translation output is created. This raw machine translation output is then post-edited. It is at this stage that we can estimate post-editing efficiency and create specific post-editing guidelines. The next step in our process is to integrate machine translation into the translation process by inserting the raw MT output into sections of the translation units where there are no translation memory matches available. These units are then post-edited and if necessary adapted to reach the predefined quality level. This stage substitutes the human translation and proofreading steps. Post-editing is handled in a controlled environment that allows us to track time and effort spent on post-editing as well as implement the changes made by post-editors to the raw empty output. The results from post-editing are used to determine work productivity and produce future estimations for empty projects within the same domain and language combination. For rule-based MT, this step is also used to configure the engine. Once translated content is post-edited, the engine is fine-tuned and retrained. For statistical engines, this involves adding newly created bilingual files to the corpus and retraining the engine. For rule-based engines, it involves updating terminology lists and fine-tuning the set of rules and exceptions using the feedback gathered during the post-editing stage. For all consecutive batches of content, the process begins at integration, stage 2. To achieve human quality translations, the raw MT output produced by machine translation is post-edited by human editors. Throughout the machine translation process, quality can be measured with the following metrics. F measure determines the precision of results produced, measuring the amount of returned results over the amount which were correct. This is a great way to measure the overall quality performance of an engine and the amount of potential post-editing effort required. 
the lower the score, the more effort and thus time will be required to post-edit. Blur scores track and analyze the engine to evaluate the fluency of translation being produced. As human evaluation is more time consuming, this method helps to establish the fluency of translation and how closely the translation correlates with a human evaluation. More directly, it measures how many words overlap in a given translation when compared to a reference translation. The higher the score, the closer it correlates with human evaluation. TER scores estimate the post-editing effort by analyzing the translation error rate. It measures and predicts the amount of post-editing effort, where effort is defined as the amount of editing a translator would need to perform to change a translation so it matches a reference translation. At Argos, we track post-editing efficiency by measuring the efficiency of empty engines as well as post-editing work. The engine's output can be measured by tracking the number of words which are post-edited per hour. The higher post-editing productivity, the better the engine, due to the lower number of corrections to be made. Our general measurement is a thousand or more words, which indicates an acceptable empty engine. These metrics help evaluate the suitability of machine translation to your content by analyzing the efficiency of the engine and the quality of the output. With technology advances, MT has evolved with significant improvements in its availability and its ability to support the traditional translation process. MT has enabled greater efficiencies in the traditional translation process with productivity gains as high as 130% for certain languages. At Argos, we share best practices and content creation with our clients to improve the quality of source content and in turn increase the probability of developing a more effective engine for translating their content with machine translation. Our three-step process provides our clients with reassurance that their content has been processed and tested during the pilot stage to determine its suitability for MT. Once we've determined that MT is suitable for our clients, we increase the quality of the raw output by first leveraging from translation memories and then processing the remaining segments through the MT engine. Our clients know that with MT, they'll achieve greater efficiencies, save on translation costs and reduce the time to market for their content. They can be confident that quality isn't compromised with productivity gains and savings, but rather improved and controlled through the entire MT process. Thank you for watching our webcast. For more information on how we can help your business to grow, visit us at www.argosmultilingual.com.